Now over here, I've got the setup to make miso soup. And it all starts from something called dashi. Now all dashi is, is soup stock. It's fish stock. Now it's very simple to make at home. There's two ingredients that are really key here. This stuff here is just bonito, the fish, filleted, dried, and smoked. Next to it, we've got kombu. This is a kelp leaf. When you see the kombu, make sure it has a really nice white layer to it, and that's just natural sea salt. That's actually what they try to duplicate when they're making MSG. This is a really great flavor enhancer without having to buy MSG. So what we're gonna do with it now is I'm gonna break off a little piece, and the key to kombu and this katsobushi, or this bonita flake, is we never want the water to be at a full rolling boil because it actually over extracts flavor. So that's going in. And then it comes up and you see the swirl. It almost looks like a little oil slick on top and that tells me it's starting. I'm gonna start to bring in my katsuobushi now and we're just gonna rain in these really wonderful leaves now. Now, no need to stir. Just kinda let them go, let them start to absorb the water nice and gently. So now with it under a simmer, I might turn it up a little bit. It's gonna smell like a really wonderful lightly smoked fish and you know you're kind of on the way to where you wanna be. Now the dashi has basically been steeping for a few minutes. It hasn't really come up too high. Let's turn this off and let me grab a strainer. Perfect. Now the tools I'm using here are three pieces. You've got the pot, that's easy. You've got a sieve, which sits in the pot. And then we'll always take a little bit of cheesecloth. Uh, a really good way to make sure you don't get any bits inside. So I'm just gonna line this kind of nice and loosely. Now always give it a little overhang because as it falls in, it's gonna pull the cloth down. A little bit of overhang is good. Oh, nice. And you know you've done a good job when it's very aromatic and the broth is kind of a pale yellow. That's exactly what we're going for. Just kind of get it up, right, like a little tea bag, and don't squeeze. Just as it drips, let it go, and then return it to this pot. Once you remove the sieve, that's dashi. So we've got some dashi happening here. We've made that early on, and I'm going to start this guy up. Excellent. That's gonna start coming up and I'm gonna start prepping my ingredients. Miso soup's very simple. In Japan, there are a couple variations of miso soup, but I'm gonna make a very simple one. We're gonna do a seaweed. Now, let me talk to you really quickly about what kind of seed we were using here. This is called wakame. You take the wakame from the dry pack, you put it into a little pot with some water in it, bring it up to a nice and warm, kind of in between warm and hot, and in about four minutes it gets really beautiful and uh, kind of full. Think about it as a sea vegetable. We want it really small so we can kind of just spoon it or slurp it right out of the pot. That's done and into my pot. Now, I'm gonna add mushrooms too, and I'm gonna get a little fancy with this kind of mushroom. This is called the shimeji, or a buna shimeji mushroom. We just want the tops, maybe about, you know, from the top one inch down, and you don't have to be really kind of picky with your knife cutting, just keep it real simple. These bottoms can be sauteed later on or used to make stock. I've got the dark shimejis and I've got a nice white shimeji. I'm gonna vary it up a little bit for a really beautiful looking soup. I've got some whites, I've got some darks. Now these are gonna take a little time, so that's why I'm putting them in earlier. All right, I've got a nice amount of heat going on. I want this to come up to a simmer slightly. These things take a little time to cook, so here's the magic. It's called miso soup because we've got our miso paste. Now a lot of restaurants are using light miso or yellow miso for their soup. I mean, I kind of like the flavor of dark miso, what we call aka miso. It's got a nice strong punch to it. So um, this is what not to do. I'm not just gonna dump in and stir. Let me show you the pro way to do this. I'm taking a sieve and I wanna just kinda insert that sieve in really gently so it doesn't hurt anything. Now we're gonna take our miso paste with a wooden spoon and actually press it through the sieve. Now when they ground miso, sometimes you can actually get really big bits and little bits. We want a really smooth soup, so watch what we do. We're just gonna smash right through, press it in really nicely, and this is gonna give you an incredibly smooth miso soup flavor. Now there's no salt, no MSG, no soy sauce that goes into this. Most of the flavor is just coming from the miso by itself. I'll start with a little bit first. We'll let that simmer and I'll come back and prep the rest of my ingredients. Now, very simple. 
I just want to add about two more ingredients. How about some tofu? And I'm just going to cut this into cubes. So even cubes are achieved by even cutting, which means this. Take your cube of tofu, cut it in half first, half the half, so you've got nice even pieces. And you can turn it all on its side, find that midpoint, cut it down halfway, lay it down. Now you've got these little sticks that are perfect sizes. Now I'll finish with a little bit, maybe like a small dice, uh, something between a small and a medium dice. Um, right out of the bowl, you don't want these cubes too big to kind of interfere with your eating. So the tofu's ready to roll. I'm gonna go for the scallions as well. Now, a lot of people will always ask me, do you use the whites, do you use the greens? You know, we use the whole thing. It's all really usable. You wanna just get rid of the roots. That's the only thing you don't want. Anytime you get any of the tips that are a little dry, we can get rid of those too. And that's completely usable from the green all the way to the white. I'm gonna do a little bias cut because I really like that slightly angled cut because it really looks nice in the pot. Bunch them together, a nice thin slicing. We really want this thin as possible. That's great. All right, I've got all my stuff ready to go. I'm looking at my soup and making sure it's nice and smooth. Tofu is cooked. It's perfectly edible right out of the pack, so I'm not worried about it over or under cooking. I'm just gonna slide that right in there. And then scallions are really delicate, so I might, you know, kind of wait on these or I could put them in right at the end. Now looking at the soup, the soup's going pretty well. Again, it's not coming to a full rolling boil and that's good. The mushrooms are cooked through. And again, I'm gonna taste this before I serve it. So let's see here. Mm. Very nice. As long as it's not too salty, it's really nice. But remember, soup is a starter. Um, don't over season it. Soup should kind of just tease your palate to want to eat more food. 